So that's an action camera that yes. you can have at home for your home? Yes, exactly. It's it's um it's a GoPro like camera. Okay. Instead of instead of capturing a flat image like or videos like GoPro capture the full uh, I would say 220 by 360 oh, wow. sphere so it's like if you put the video in your headset you have this freedom of movement and you can explore the full scene and that still allows you to do the zoom in and and change your focus like this camera exactly how much does the uh, the action camera cost oh, it's uh, the same price than the regular action camera okay so it's roughly what a GoPro would cost yes exactly it's wow. something quite similar and it's available now it's uh, on the on the way okay so you will have a do you will see multiple device like this uh, on the market between the end of this year and uh, next year that's another action cam yes okay S same technology uh, much smaller lens much much smaller and uh, this one is uh, produced Designed and produced by Quanta Computer in okay. Taiwan. So you will see some this product going out with a brand uh, between the uh, I would say at the end of this year. Okay. And what is really interesting with this device is it can be used an, as an action cam, VR cam, like you can capture photo videos like this, mm -hmm. putting that on an helmet or on your on the bike, but also you can attach the camera to your mobile phone like this oh and you can capture content or it will be the first camera that stream live via content so you can that is the prototype okay it won't be like this at the end but you can attach wire the camera to your smartphone and live stream and live stream via content wow So, I was talking to Louis on Sunday, and yes. he was saying that there's a magnetic camera. Is that this one? Yes, exactly. Okay. This is this is this one. So it snaps on with a magnet. That's neat. So this is a this is the video record from the from the device, and uh, so I I don't. So if you notice, there is some marks <laughs> on yeah, each the QR code. Exactly, yeah. exactly, and so those marks include all the information from the device. This device has G-sensor, compass, accelerometers, oh, okay. and like a head-mounted display. Okay. Okay, and what is really interesting is when you capture the video, no matter the movement you do on the device, the, the content appears stable in a head-mounted display. So okay. if you look at this video, you can see that the, the person here moving left and right Okay, yeah, so I, I can see it was just, they were just holding it and moving back and forth. But if I focus on one direction, it uh, stay focused on the middle of the road, no matter if the camera moving left and right. Oh, wow. So that's really beneficial and that's the first device on the market capturing VR content and stabilizing the field of view. So no matter the movement you do when you capture the content, after that when you display it in VR, the content remains stable. That's awesome. You can capture the VR content, no matter the movement you do. Okay. Then after the fact, using the QR code and the marks inside the image, the player stabilizes the field of view. Wow. That's amazing. So. What what kind of information is the QR code? It's just the the GPS and the the, the it could be so information. G sensor, GPS, the type of lens because each lens are different and require specific processing. So okay. this lens or the lens from the action cam or the lens from the broadcast, they are all different and all have the same different algorithm. Okay. So the QR code include the property of the lens. Plus you can add multiple. Um, Data, for example, some uh, device manufacturer add the type of device, the usage of the device, okay. or the user uh, trigger the, the camera when it trigger the camera. So that's help them to have more data about the device usage. Okay. Uh, you can add uh, the copyright 
for broadcast, for example, or the score of the game, or it's not limited to a small amount of data, you can okay. add your own. Oh, wow. And so after that, on the player side, you can get those data to create different user experience for marketing, for analytics, uh, for content protection as okay. well. So there is multiple uh, applications. So do you license the software to hardware manufacturers then? So what we do, we license the optic technology to the optical manufacturer okay. and camera manufacturer, it depends. And we also license the software to the application developers okay. and social media. So okay. it's two, two part technology, one is the optic and one is the software. Okay. And our goal is really to spread the software as much as possible with multiple app developers and social media to make the device compatible directly with, uh, with the existing player and platform. Okay. That's, uh, that's a really interesting application that you guys are doing. I, I, I like it a lot. Thank you, um, Kevin. The, uh, the, the broadcast television thing, I really didn't think was going to be possible until yeah. light field cameras came into play. Yeah. Uh, the ability to just pick and choose where you want to view the camera is yeah. amazing, especially for sports. That's, yeah. I'm not a sports fan at all, but yeah. as soon as VR came into play, I was like, I want to be on the field next, exactly. to, the, next to the quarterback re yeah. accepting the snap. Like, exactly. I, I, want to be, I want to be right next to the goalie who like, yeah. makes that amazing save, right? Exactly. Uh, this is the first time I've seen anything that comes close to that ability. Yeah. So yeah. that's really cool. So would a, would a, would let's say UFC wanted to do this, right? Mm. Could they have multiple of those cameras broadcasting and then the user can just switch camera view? That's exactly the intention okay. of, the, of uh, this technology. So pulling different cameras at different uh, uh, location yeah. in the arena, as you mentioned, uh, behind the goalie or between in the arena between the two teams. Yeah. Uh, so and then you can enjoy different plays and feel to be there and even teleport yourself from one place to another. Yeah. Real time. So you can even follow the uh, the ball or the, your favorite players by switching from different parts. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I really didn't think we'd be able to do that until light field, and that's yeah. probably a few years away still. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. that's so, um, how, how long have you guys been in business? Oh, we we launched this company 16 years ago. 16 years ago. Okay. We start the business with the security application and video surveillance. Okay. It, that was the first application of the 360 technology. Then we we also uh, developed automotive and defense application based on 360 technology. Okay. And more recently, I would say three years ago, we developed the technology to go to consumer market, action cam, and mobile phone. Okay, and now you're just breaking into that market now? Yes, exactly. Cool. So you will see product coming out uh, this year and next year. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I, when you mentioned that you could have like a camera at the goalie, I was thinking, yeah. well, you could put one of those those action cams yeah. right inside the goal. Yeah. And and you could just zoom right in and watch yeah. the, yeah, that would be really neat. So. And feel what you feel, see what you see. Yeah. Feel to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much. For thank your you. Time. <laughs> Have a pleasure.